The body is a delicate dance of systems, a mysterious world that exists within each of us. Every cell is busy, engulfed in the duties of balance, tiny fragments of our existence that work tirelessly to make all of this possible. How blessed we are to be the mind, soul, infused into this magnificent expression of pure collaboration. This body is a team, this body is love, the ultimate gift, a vessel to express, connect, feel, create, move, grow, and uncover what it means to be alive. I celebrate our bodies and our innate capacity to heal and become balanced. We are capable of incredible happenings because we already are an incredible happening. As stress, PCOS, endometriosis, hormonal imbalances, and infertility is on the rise, so is our consciousness. What a time to be alive. Hands extended outward, ready to receive the baton that's passed through many hands back to ourselves. The baton of healing, awareness, and intuitive living. What happens when our lifestyle, eating, thoughts, actions, existence becomes aligned with our soul? Does disease and sickness plummet to their lowest? Does happiness around the world reach into high spaces? Do we begin to unravel a new state of being? Pure alignment. An inner ladder that becomes so strong we can climb it to reach the highest version of ourselves. A seemingly never-ending ladder, allowing the journey to be just as beautiful as the destination. This video is for the womb that is connected to everything. Our bodies, our health, they're all affected by the world at large and approaching this in a really holistic way, considering the interconnectedness and interaction of all parts that make up a whole has been vital for me. And not just treating the symptoms or masking the underlying issue, but really zooming out to see that my body is a system that's a part of an even greater one, the world we live in today. And now having tended to, and will always continue to tend to these areas of myself, this is what I've learned. In addition to sharing with you the things that I've added to my life, what to eliminate can be even more powerful. These advanced bodies that we have, they can regulate so much if we simply just stop adding fuel to the fire. This video is sponsored by the very kinds of companies and products that offer true support and warmth to this area and all of them with the exception of one and only because they're brand new to the market. I've used and supported these products for years and because we're partnering, I'm going to be able to offer you five different discounts across five different sites, so many incredible products, and I'm gonna be highlighting a few of my favorite ones today. Plant Dyed Intimates, Women's Homeopathic Remedy Kit, Relief Melts for Period and Pelvic Discomfort, Adaptogenic Mushrooms for Stress and Well-Being, and Hemp Fiber Period Products. I love today's video. So I'm gonna add something here that I don't usually add because I've been inspired to. Right, babe? If this video, if this channel has in any way added light or value to your life, I would love and appreciate if you would consider liking, commenting, subscribing. It helps reach even more people. And for that, I would be so grateful. That was so hard for me to say. <laughs> I, I did it. <laughs> also a quick disclaimer that I am not a doctor. And years ago, I diverted from a traditional medical doctor career and leaned into my nature. A pure fascination with the plant and fungi world as it pertains to preventative healing and expansion. This isn't medical advice, rather an account of what's worked for me. In words, PCOS is a hormonal condition that is one of the main contributors to infertility in women. It's classically diagnosed by a set of symptoms and then by ruling out specific health conditions that express in similar ways. PCOS usually presents itself by some or all of these main symptoms, high testosterone levels, excessive hair growth or abnormal hair growth and loss, irregular or missed periods, acne, sometimes very cystic in nature, low energy, fatigue, weight fluctuations, insulin resistance, ovarian cyst, issues with mood. 
Endometriosis is a condition where the tissue lining the inside of the uterus begins to grow in other places of the body where it shouldn't be. This rogue tissue acts just like the lining of our uterus, and when our hormones tell our lining of our uterus to shed, which is our period, this same tissue begins to shed wherever else it might be in the body. Painful. Main symptoms are painful periods, pelvic pain, pain with sex, bowel upset, constipation, diarrhea, bowel pain, infertility, ovarian endometrial mass tumor, pain with urination. The worst symptom though was my ovarian cyst. I had so many ovarian cysts all of the time. And with endometriosis, it was pretty much the same thing. I had all of the symptoms with the exception of a tumor. Eight particularly rough years with these imbalances where I saw 15 different doctors, OBGYN specialists, tried every protocol, birth control that made me bleed for a year, causing my entire uterine lining to nearly fall out of my body, heart issues, different diets, prescriptions. I tried practically all of it and none of it worked for me. And what I have learned for myself is that I had to consider my life in its entirety. Lifestyle, stress, movement, people, environment, my soul, and one of the most important things was food, which I'm gonna be talking about in the later part of the video. And it's not just about being vegan, it's something specific to the vegan way of eating that really transformed my health for the better. Beginning with pain, because it can be a dominating element to these internal imbalances. As I began to address the root of these issues, some relief along the way to be able to focus and reprogram was so nice. Warmth, whether a ruptured cyst, pelvic pain from endometriosis, painful periods, I cherish my hot water pouch. Isolating heat to this area is so soothing. Safe temperature hot baths, bringing this heat to my entire body, Here's the first of incredible products today, Foria. Centered in sexual and full body wellness, they've infused some of the most incredible elements into their mineral rich relief bath salt. Kava, Arnica, Ginger, Hemp. I utilize these elements individually when addressing pain. So to see them fused together with essential oils, dried cedar and peppermint, it's a symphony. This was formulated to melt tension in the body and mind while deeply soothing period cramps muscle soreness, and strains of any kind. And this is just one of their products. Over two years loving their range, I have to spotlight on their relief melts. Created to help relieve pelvic and menstrual discomfort, an all-natural CBD suppository. I had a tender moment where my body was rebalancing about two years ago, and I appreciated these so very much. Such sacred areas of the body and their ingredient list are such a standard for what I believe we deserve. Whether by organic tinctures, organic herbal tea blends, these are some of my favorite elements for this specific kind of pain and cramping. Ginger, kava, cramp bark, black cohosh, skullcap. There are so many incredible brands that create tincture blends with these kinds of elements fused together. I customize herbal teas depending on what I could use support in. In the description, you'll find some beautiful offerings like Foria's range, topical relief oils for womb and breast health, arnica infused topicals that ease pain. I no longer wear tampons for many reasons, and one of them is just to allow my body to do exactly what it wants, which is release. Most days I free bleed into clothing that won't stain. Multicolored red bottoms, black bottoms, and if I use anything at all, it's products like this. Hemp fiber period products from a company called Riff. Their products are carbon neutral, upcycled, softer than cotton alone, and biodegradable. Riff is Latina owned and woman owned. It's the most absorbent, sustainable pad I've used. They've also created period panties that are about to launch. An empowering element for me has been testing. So knowing what hormones are really low, really high, out of whack, has just allowed me to understand myself at a deeper level. And because there is so much nuance in how we can be imbalanced, the protocol to help rebalance can be nuanced as well. Hormone, vitamin, mineral panels, through blood work, 
and even more in-depth testing that requires urine and saliva and really started to understand that so many of my imbalances, my predispositions and my patterns were directly related to stress. Stress. I stress the word stress. Stress is a response that we all have in our bodies and it's really how we choose to interact and respond to it that dictates how it affects our overall well-being and our health. Mason's got his thunder jacket on because he gets a little stressed. Oh, bub. It really works. Like it? It's a great time for you to pop in, babe. Just talking about stress. I found it incredibly difficult to acknowledge and address my stress because for so long I was measuring it against other people's level of stress around me. I used to see stress as a very external thing. So screaming, yelling, cussing, a level of unhinged mood fluctuations, when in reality it can also be a very internal experience. Conducting stress, storing stress, and suppressing emotions that want to come out. Throughout my childhood, I was an absorbent pad for other people's stress. And this was really important for me to see because I could better understand how I had been hardwired for stress and how far I had to go back to really understand proper, healthy stress management. And our relationship to this steady hum of stress can become so normal that when we take steps to reduce it, its absence almost feels abnormal. Stress and its respective hormones can be this self-generated fuel that we mistake for energy. At least that's what I did for so long. And if stress doesn't outright cause health issues, it certainly exacerbates them. And that's why it's so important to really acknowledge how powerful stress is. It's called the silent killer for a reason because it's just tucked under all of these things that we do in our daily lives and it just adds fuel to the fire. I began to take steps to mend my relationship to stress and it changed my life. Slowing down, a steady pace has been nourishing. I'm capable of moving very fast and when I gave myself permission to just go slower, I couldn't believe the level of peace I began to unlock. I was in a rush to go here, go there, achieve this, get that, be that. And when I shifted my pace, it brought me clarity. That revealed where I was rushing to was a place I could find within. I noticed that by simply moving slower, my body began to regulate so much on its own. When I first began to work on my stress, I had to consciously observe my reactions to everything. And I mean everything. Why does that make me mad, sad, angry, uncomfortable? And am I able to regulate my responses rather than allow them to consume me? It wasn't easy, but wow, how potent this practice was. It's not about suppressing emotions, but really getting to know them, acknowledging that I am not that emotion. I'm feeling that emotion, observing the emotion as it comes, as it goes, and being comfortable with its presence. Lovely, lovely breath work, learning how to breathe again. I began by listening to guided sessions online and then moved into creating my own while listening to music that I really resonate with. I also wanted to mention that breath work has been such a great practice for me to do lightly when I'm having a cyst rupture or experiencing pelvic pain. In my late teens where I had the most pain from ruptured cysts and endo, I was intuitively doing breath work without knowing what it was called. Everyone would always ask me, what can we do? What can we do to help? And it was always just space to be able to breathe. Guided poetic meditation, which is a lot like my internal dialogue. It feels home. I love listening to people's voice and taking a journey through words that bring me back to present. And I've been thinking about creating some of my own to share. Movement has always been a channel for me. And I'm so grateful for this body that is blanketed with sensory, feeling the ground under feet, synchronizing with the highest and the lowest parts of the body. It's a moment for my body and soul to commune, while my brain integrates several brain functions at once, drawing lines from the emotional, musical, kinesthetic, rational. A dance is happening up there too. 
Dance is incredible for the brain and just one benefit is neuroplasticity. Since 2015, I have been integrating adaptogens into my life. At the beginning, I took them for chronic stress, chronic pain, trauma, and neurogenesis, and I soon realized how they affected my womb. And it makes perfect sense because womb health is related to all of these areas. There's a really beautiful brand called Rainbow. I must have been using this brand for over three years now. It's been a while. They're a B Corp certified mushroom company on a mission to upgrade humanity with fungi. These are some of their beautiful offerings and they're bottled in glass. They've been such a powerful friend in healing and expansion. We share so much DNA with fungi and we're just beginning to unravel the magic that they are. Our bodies need sleep and we've been ushered into this fast paced system that deprives ourselves of living in tune with our natural rhythms. And we've been promoted and influenced to champion this certain idea of boss culture and hustle culture that if isn't in line with your true nature can lead to high levels of exhaustion and mental overload. And for those just trying to get by, quality sleep is exchanged for livelihood, being able to put food on the table and provide for a family. So many of us, both willingly and because we have to, are pushing our bodies to the absolute limit every single day just to crash into bed later. At 25, which was about four years ago, I really got honest with myself and said, if I want to actually have a chance at healing myself, my body, I'm going to have to build my life around this pace and this rhythm. So first getting to know what that is and then taking the proper steps to achieving that kind of life. At that time in my life, I was working about six days a week, 12 hour days, and I knew that this was a huge element in my healing, just moving slower, which meant changing my career. I could throw every green juice, yoga session, and positive quote at the situation, but it was going to take a full life shift for me to address the true imbalances. When I changed my career, worked less hours, and got more sleep, I immediately felt a tinge of life spring back. Good quality, adequate amounts of sleep is one of the most underrated forms of healing. We allow the body to utilize energy and focus it inwards, internally, and we repair in our sleep. So best to give ourselves the time to do all of that repair. Of course, there are times where things change and I'm up late living life, but when I took my healing seriously, I had to put effort into reprogramming and detoxing years of habits, cyclical behavior. And this sounds so easy, simple, and obvious, and it's been one of the most powerful elements in my healing. I created a homeopathic women's kit with oleos with so many things in mind, PCOS, endometriosis, stress, explanting, and sleep, just to name a few. This kit reflects this video in so many ways because it touches on many areas of our being. These remedies I've used myself for many, many years, and I'm still amazed at how these little small pellets have the potential to do such big things within the body. Remedies for sleeplessness, nervousness, and headache due to emotional upset, difficulty falling asleep due to mental hyperactivity, for irritability and restlessness, remedies for pre- and post-surgery, I also know that lack of sleep and stress can cause a lot of us to have cold sore flare-ups. And for as many people who have it, about 70% of us just in the US alone, I wanted to add a little relief to this area that is not openly talked about too often. Allergies, bloating, indigestion and gas, fever with perspiration, headache and inflammation, apprehension, fatigue, headache, body aches, and fever associated with flu. I love this little kit so much and you can get 20% off for the launch right now by clicking the link below. Years ago, I learned that high intensity workouts for these specific imbalances and issues can actually be a part of the problem. For instance, with me, my cortisol was through the roof in the morning and when I would wake up, jump out of bed, go to the gym and exercise really fast and really hard in the morning, it was actually doing a lot of damage to my body. What was better for me was to wake up in the morning, address my high levels of cortisol with an herbal blend, help bring myself within range, and then do a slow controlled workout that was just as effective as a fast one. 
This is why understanding your hormones at a deeper level is so beneficial. You can start to shift your life and activities to become more in tune with your unique profile. Removing toxic products, endocrine, hormone disruptors from my home. Endocrine disruptors are found in so many everyday products. If we spent our life looking at the ingredient list on some of the biggest products that are promoted today, research their ingredients one by one, we would be horrified. <laughs> horrified. The pool for truly natural, organic, and safe products might seem so small because stores stock their shelves full of mega companies, products, and brands, but there's a world of them online, local to you if you know where to look, and things you can just make yourself for pennies on the dollar a lot of the time. We get exposed to so many chemicals when we step outside the house every single day. So making this home and this home a less toxic space is such an important step to reducing our exposure to endocrine disruptors and hormone disruptors and they're everywhere cosmetics personal hygiene body care perfume candles cookware nail polish a lot of canned food and plastic wrapping clothing pesticides no wonder so many of us have hormonal issues we're getting a heaping spoonful of hormone disruptors every day companies tell us don't worry we're natural a nearly unregulated term we don't use these specific harmful chemicals, and we have tea tree as one ingredient out of the 100 others, but don't look at those. And rather listen to them, I'd rather just listen to myself, my intuition, and people who actually care about health. And this isn't to scare you, it's more so to shine a light on potential sources and culprits so that we can better navigate and make changes in our life. So much of the product space is dark and riddled with upsetting realities. So I really shifted my focus to the light. I learned about so many incredible companies along the way that really care about people, planet, and animals. And I didn't need a hundred companies to choose from. Just finding a few of those was more than enough. I also came out of this product detox realizing that I could thrive on about 10% of what I was consuming before and happily. This impacted my wallet, my health, and this grasp that chemicals have just had on my body for so long. I wanted to show you something that I wish everyone had the opportunity to do. To really see what industry, corporations, and greed and carelessness can do to the body. I'm going to pull up an in-depth toxins test that I had done about two years ago. I grew up in one of the largest refinery towns in the United States and even though the town itself was really small, it's basically just chemical plants with neighborhoods and some shopping centers. I was exposed to some of the most intense chemicals living near this industry and I'm in the highest percentile of some chemical exposures and they are endocrine disruptors associated with insulin resistance, impair the central nervous system, increase the risk for breast cancer, leukemia, carcinogens, and these are just a small few that I pulled out to show you. And when you see something like that, it just gets that much more personal. Feeling violated in a very new way, an invisible way. And what's been soothing for me, what I tell myself, what I remind myself of, is that I have to just start with me. It starts here. One of the most impactful forms of activism is to let your existence be the resistance. Working in the clothing space for years, my understanding of this industry has just expanded so much. And I used to wear and model some of the most toxic clothing. Our skin is our body's largest organ and what we put on our skins is pulled inward and can be absorbed and I wouldn't consciously pour endocrine disruptors, hormone disruptors, and carcinogens on my ovaries. So why, why would I put them on my body? And why would I promote others to do the same? In the new year, I'm posting a video all about sustainable fashion because this area deserves so much attention. And more than ever, I want to cloak my body in love, not harm. And when speaking to the more vulnerable and sacred parts of our bodies, I wear creations by brands like Indigo Luna. And now I have a small collection of underwear and non-line bras that are like this set, which is Buttersoft Lensing Modal, 
a biodegradable material created from spinning wood pulp in a closed loop system. And this special blue color is achieved from plant dyes over a three week process of dipping, drying, and re-dipping by hand with care, with all waste matter returned to the base of these trees as compost. If you'd like to explore their many creations, I added a link in the description along with a coupon. Click the link and use my code SOPHIA if you're in the market for some conscious clothing. Aside from intimates, I always opt for vintage garments first. It's become the way that I consume. Old first, new sustainable second. Vintage garments have most likely been washed quite a few times for decades, and I feel comfortable putting these clothes on my body knowing whatever they are made with, it's become less potent over time, chemical-wise. When you learn about all of the realities of clothing, an impulse may be to throw everything out and buy new sustainable everything. While for some reasons that's great, it can also be quite expensive. And this is why I love vintage because it's such a huge part of being able to take leaps in sustainable living without spending so much money. I have tips on finding inexpensive vintage yourself in my upcoming sustainable clothing video. Patrice and I have a shop called Test of Time Vintage on Etsy to unearth these hidden gems and I'd love to stimulate ways you can source your own for even cheaper. Since what we wear interacts with us on a hormonal level, we should absolutely be giving this area so much attention if we really want to address the contributing factors to hormonal imbalances and health issues. What we eat absolutely impacts our health and the foods that helped change my life for the better were whole foods, real foods. My list of no's is much shorter than my list of yes, so I'll tell you what those are. No animal products, no animal byproducts, little to no processed food, little to no processed sugar, no alcohol, and I also remove gluten from my diet, with the exception of one, which is heirloom wheat, the original wheat, before it was this. This happened somewhere along the way. And this is part of the reason why so many people have problems with the wheat that we consume today, even organic wheat. So very interesting. Another video on that coming in the new year. When it comes to grains, I really only eat heritage, heirloom, and ancient grains. Speaking on wheat, this includes original varieties of wheat. I can almost assure you none of the products on store shelves contain this kind of wheat. This is something you have to seek out it's naturally lower in gluten than modern day wheat and was the variety humans ate throughout history before industrialization, modern day hybridization, and genetic modification took over. Hybridizing of plants has been happening for a very long time, so this is nothing new, but what hasn't been happening for a long time is how this wheat is grown, processed, stored, and prepped. So many people are now gluten sensitive and tolerant, have celiac disease, and whether it's the higher levels of gluten in this modern day wheat or all of the other chemical components that come attached to modern day industrialized wheat, I personally eat heirloom, ancient grains, and only when they're prepared using traditional techniques. Eating wheat that has been soaked, stone milled, and breads that are created by not just a fermentation process, but a slow one, reducing even more of its gluten levels. All of this together is what creates a beautiful loaf of bread to me and is simply the way we used to make it. So where do you find this heirloom, heritage wheat, the berries, the flour, and products made from it this way? Living in California and then Texas, I easily found companies that put all of this into practice. Camilla Sourdough in Venice, California, creating beautiful heritage wheat bread using a long soak and fermentation process. Here in Austin at Barton Springs Mill, they offer heritage wheat, the berries, flowers that are stone milled, ancient grain flowers too, and they have a bakery next door that utilizes all of this incredible wheat and they make beautiful bread out of it. If you're looking for something like this, I would just do a simple online search for your area, heritage wheat, heirloom wheat near me, and see if there are shops offering this kind of flour that's been stone milled or the finished product itself made utilizing a long soak and fermentation process. And if nothing is near you, this kind of flour is available online and can be a sweet reason to be inspired to create your own bread in the kitchen. Ancient grains that are beautiful and welcome into my life are high quality organic varieties of amaranth, fonio, kamut, quinoa, rye, spelt, teff. 
rice that can join the party too is heirloom heritage and ancient varieties like black rice, wild rice, beans, pulses, legumes, same here, as much heirloom heritage and ancient varieties I can, and when I don't, opting for a really great organic variety, I eat them every day. Corn. I get most of mine from shops like this. They utilize the traditional ways of growing and processing this beautiful, beautiful food. From this, I make corn tortillas, breads, flatbreads, soups with hominy, so many dark leafy greens, kale, collard, chard. Combining these together, sauteing them with some garlic and pairing it with a bit of vitamin C, lemon to increase the absorption of iron. Fruit, coconut, lemon, lime, cucumbers, red bell peppers, berries, and any tropical fruit I can get my hands on. Simas, which I make into gels for smoothies, which, depending on which one you get, can contain 92 trace minerals. Healthy, healthy fats. I cannot express this enough. Fat is vital and is a powerhouse behind some of the most important functions in the body. The myelin sheath, wrapping around our nerves with insulation, energy, the reason why we can absorb necessary fat-soluble vitamins, I enjoy high-grade coconut oil, coconut milk, full fat, nothing removed, coconut butter, avocados, extra virgin olive oil, omega-3 and flax, artisanal plant cheeses made from yummy, yummy cashews that are made with real ingredients, no fillers, artificial flavors, soaked or soaked and sprouted nut seed butters, tahini, chia seeds, hemp seeds. The world of healthy fats is beautiful and I get a variety of them every single day fermented foods like miso, coconut yogurt, fermented cabbage, artisanal plant cheeses with probiotics. Juicing has been powerful for me. I felt my body balancing and always when I incorporated specific juices into my life. This one I have made for years and it's simple. Kale or another dark leafy green, green apple, cucumber, rosemary and other herbs, parsley, sometimes cilantro, celery and a little lime. My body craves this juice and it also gives me loads of energy. I'll love this blend for life and I attribute a large portion of my hormonal balancing to it. I was drinking this juice nearly every day at the height of my detox. A lot of people go plant-based and just go headfirst into lots of white rice, pasta, processed breads, processed foods. And this for me was fuel for all of my imbalances. So I really minimize this area here. Contrary to what a lot of vegans or plant-based eaters may say, I actually believe there are incredible health benefits to eating animal products and animal byproducts. However, it's been such an incredible journey for me to explore how to obtain these same properties from the plant world, and I've dedicated my life to this exploration to make it easier for others to do the same. We've spent so much time, effort, and energy backing nutrition for one way of eating, learning the benefits of it, and it's simply time to do the same for plants. I willingly entered vegetarianism as a child, and choosing not to eat animals is an expression of my soul. It's evolved over time, and I've passed through many versions of this diet and lifestyle. I've been plant-based and felt terrible. <laughs> this is when I was eating lots of modern-day gluten and processed foods. I've been plant-based and had imbalances. This is when my meals were imbalanced. I've never felt more in tune and alive as I do now eating whole foods, ancient foods, heirloom foods. There's a quote, and I'm trying to figure out who originally said this, but it says, whoever controls the food controls the people. And it's so true. And I love that we're becoming empowered to make choices about what we put in our bodies. The description of this video is blooming with different perspectives, healing modalities, and products for issues that I know are common even if I didn't experience them myself. I wanted this video to be for everyone. And having experienced so many health issues in my life, I've been granted perspective and an opportunity to learn more about the connection between body, mind, and soul, which I believe we all can do if we first just move slower. Not looking for anything in particular, just the openness to receive exactly what presents itself. A world full of ailments, war, conflict, turbulence, and unhappiness is a world out of alignment, and I see us piercing through a veil of energetic oppression and suppression when we reclaim systems of living and being and find more ways to touch our soul, the source, letting it shine through in every action we make, every breath we take, 
It's incredible what can happen when we walk a path to overall wellness, which addresses health issues we focus on and the ones we didn't even know existed. We are strong, we are capable, and we are powerful. And as our vibration rises, as we remember who and what we are, may we cherish these bodies that allow this experience, these bodies that will one day return to the soil, bits of our legacy infused with the earth, the ground now underneath another's feet, as they too journey through this space and time. <laughs>